how to create a digital business card with Canva. Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how you can create a digital business card using Canva. So let's jump right in. Now we all know how business cards are often just tucked in the trash or they can be so inconvenient to type in all the details and having to do that manually is not something a lot of people are interested in. So to be able to hand out business cards that can have a QR code which holds all of your business information is a feature that you're going to be looking for and you can easily design that on Canva. So let's jump right in. Now for this you're going to search for business card over here on Canva and you have two types of business cards. You have either the ones that are structured in a landscape or the ones that are in a portfolio or a vertical form. So this is up to your personal preference. I'm going to open up a blank business card and that is all we need. So from here, I can get started and you have two options. If you're going to be printing a business card, you can do it front to back where the front side looks like a traditional business card and on the back of your business card, you can print out the QR code that I'm going to show you guys how to build which can allow people to just scan the QR code and then receive all of your business details. This is up to your personal preference. You can choose whichever method you like. So firstly, I'm just going to give some color to my background like so. And I'm going to make this a light pink color because that's my favorite. And once I've done that, I can proceed with the next step, which is to actually add our details. So we're going to go into text on the left. Now, once I go into text on the left, I can click on add heading and I can add my name. So we're going to add that over here. And once we do that, we can click on the top left to alter the type of font we are using like this. Now, once I've done that on the right, I can either directly paste in my QR code or I can add my business details. So I want to also add an image so I can just click on elements. And then I'll search for a frame. I'll add a circular frame over here. Then I can add my image as well. So I'm just going to be adding this random image, but you're obviously going to add your own. Then I'm going to go back and then click on add a subheading. And then on the right, I can add my business details. So whatever is your number, we can add that. Lily Davis at gmail.com like this so whatever details you want to be providing like this this can also include your address and any other type of detail then simply take this page from the bottom and then click on duplicate page once you've duplicated this page delete the content from the right side and here I'm going to show you guys to how to add your QR code now, a lot of people just build a QR code of their Canva design, and that is not accurate because you want your QR code to be scannable in real life, and you want the scan to not lead people back to your Canva design. You want it to directly import your business details. So to do that, we are going to use QR Code Monkey. Now, this is a free tool. You don't need to sign up. Simply head on over to qrcode-monkey.com. From here, you're going to select V card, which is for your virtual card, which we're going to be creating today. So click on virtual card over here. And from here, just input all of your business details. So our name and then our organization, then our position, then our phone number, whatever it is. Then we can also add a private phone number. We can add our email address like this. So let's say this is our mail. We can also link our website, zip code, city, country. Then after that, you can also set the color of your QR code. Now, one thing to note is that your QR code colors need to have high contrast, even if you're trying to match them with the brand aesthetic or your business card's aesthetic, you still want to choose a color that is going to be high in contrast because if the two colors are of similar density, then it's going to be difficult to scan that QR code. So you can also do a color gradient as well as a custom eye color. But I like to do a simple gradient and we're going to just do a really nice dark pink gradient because I love pink and it's my favorite color. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. 
and then you can choose the type of gradient you want, if you want a linear gradient or a radial gradient. After that, you can also choose to add your logo image. Your logo image is added at the center. It looks a bit funny to me, so I'm going to skip that, but you can choose to upload your logo as well. Then you can click on customize design, and there are a wide variety of QR codes that are currently available. You're not limited to the standard version, but it just depends on your personal preference on how you want to structure that, how you want your QR code to look. So once you have set everything up from the right side, you're going to click on create QR code and you guys can see my QR code has now been generated. From here, you can click on download PNG and another really easy thing you can do if you don't want to, you know, use their free sign up, simply click on open image in new tab and you can open your image in the new tab. Click on save as over here, click on save and this will save your QR code. Then from the top right, you're going to drag and drop this over here, and your QR code is now a scannable QR code. I do recommend you do sign up on QR Code Monkey to ensure that your details remain saved. So it's really simple. You don't have to, you know, pay or you don't have to provide any personal details other than just your name and then your address. And you guys can see on the top right, it has now downloaded this as a PNG as well. So once you've done that, you can click on share on the top right, click on download on Canva, and then download this as a PDF print. And now you have the front and then the back of your business card on Canva. It is this easy to create a digital business card. Additionally, some people like to create a QR code that opens the Canva design of your business card, and that's really easy to do. For that, just go into apps on the left and you have a QR code generator, and you can just ask it to generate a shareable link. So you can create a public view link from the top right. And then once you do that, you can paste in that link into your QR code, and then people will be led to the public Canva design of your business card. Although I don't find there to be a lot of practical applications for that, it's still something that you do have the opportunity to do if you so want to. So that was it for today. I hope you guys found this video helpful. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to the YouTube channel and comment down below the best tips and tricks that I have taught you within this video. And make sure to also share this video with your friends and family and to other creators as well so you can help them out as well. And to anyone that might need to know this basic detailed platform and how you navigate through these different social websites. So I hope this was helpful enough for you and make sure that you do leave a comment down below if I missed out on anything and if there is anything you would like to add and I will catch you guys in the next video.